Hello, my little munchkins, crones, and sunflowers. Welcome to Saturday. Too bad you can't see it. Too bad you can't see it. But it's so sunny. No I have to put it down. But nevertheless, we're back. We hope you're having a wonderful weekend. We do. It just started yet yesterday yes. evening. And today, we'll get things done. Have a good time. Get started. Yes. But don't forget to thumb us up. And don't forget to subscribe. Please. Yes. We really need you. We really, really do. And I know you got a big old... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we need it because our hearts are so big. So if you could, please, please support us. We really mm -hmm. could use that for the algorithm. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. You ready? Yes, I am. So what is this news about the Kardashian not coming back to Hulu? Now, what? They trying to negotiate to go to what? What? Back to E! News? You ain't know what E! News or y'all going to, I mean... What? Yeah, I, I was just wait a minute. It. Hold up, I was just under the impression that they was she was trying to fish and make Chloe the, the storyline, story mm -hmm. and now they're not coming back because of what they've been tied up with the Diddy and and Hulu said we pride ourselves on wholesome living, and I, I don't I don't know how you can say that when when the, when the Kardashians got caught up, and maybe that's why were they on Hulu? Yes, they were on Hulu with Ray J. No. We can find that out. Okay. So we can find that out. I want to know where they on Hulu. I think they were on Hulu. They were on Hulu when the Ray J thing came out. That came out like what, last year? Oh, yeah. We got to pull it up. I'm not 100%, but when you get a chance, I want you to pull it okay. up. Now, go ahead. Go ahead and say what you want to say. Yes. Now, what I do want to say about the interesting is because... They, I can't believe they're literally just like canned and scrapped the Kardashians like that. We have gotten a trailer of what the new we series. Do? Yes, it was a poor trailer. It barely showed anything of what the season's going to be like. It just pretty much was just like glamorous shots of the Kardashians. Hmm. Yes, and they were supposed to be coming back in just a couple of weeks. I was just checking. And everything we say is allegedly. Yes, it was supposed to so, be about like April sixteenth that they were. Supposed I was looking to be forward. April, I was 16th, looking forward. But I know back. that kingdom gonna come down sooner or later. And usually, when people don't know how to say bye bye bye, you know what? Sometimes when you don't do it and mm -hmm. you know you're supposed to, then life make the decision for you. And what I've learned in life, if you know to do something, do it. Don't let life make your decision because you're not going to like the way they do it, the That's way true. life does it. Nature got a way of doing things that will rattle the core of you. So it is best when you are called, do the right thing. Sometimes it's time to go. I would like to see a last episode. I don't know. I feel like with all of this rigmarole going on, I just feel some kind of way. Like I felt kind of gypped in a way. I do too. But all at the same time, should we be shocked? No. Okay. The shocking part is the fact that they, even though they've filmed this season, mm -hmm. Hulu's just like, we don't care. We spent the time of production and money on filming this. We're going to no. scrap it anyway. You know, too much. You talked about too much. You got bad rap. Kylie face was sinking. Uh, Kim out there hoeing or bowing. Yes. And you got Chloe. I don't well, know I mean, what a Kylie. different father. You got you got all these dramas. Mm -hmm. I'm naming all the names wrong, did I, baby? No. You named them all right, but Kylie's also going down for having... Didn't you hear me with her face sunken? Yes, and also going down for... With her finances, allegedly. This is the <laughs> things that's out on the news. So, you know, I was hoping that we would get a chance to see it. However, if they go back to E! News, I would never take them back. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. Mm -mm, no. You left us. We told you no. You went to Hulu and told us pretty much to kiss your you-know-what. Yep. And we did. And we wished you the best. And now you coming back after a few, a few years with Hulu. You better go on. That's how mm -hmm. I would be. And not out of anger. Just no. For the reasons that I let you go, you didn't listen. So, no. That's how I would be. Okay. For the reasons that I let you go in the first place. I told you that your seasons, the season was up. But you, no. So, you got, what, two, three years with who? They have been with Hulu long. No, they haven't. So now Hulu is saying, uh-uh, because of the name and all that you come with and the problems, 
Hulu yes. says, I don't need it, but go ahead, baby. Mm -hmm. And I do wonder if Hulu's subscription sales are going down a little bit because, you know, I wonder how many people paid for Hulu well, just to watch the Well, crash. actually, when I looked up Hulu, Hulu, they, they are marketable to some degree, but for Hulu to let them go, they're not losing anything. Okay. A lot of people, you can pull that up. A lot of people are not into the Kardashians. I'm going to tell you, there would be a time that if I wrote on Kali or if I wrote on That's Kim, true. my numbers would be up at least in one day, three, four hundred dollars, three, four hundred dollars, three, four hundred. But now if I can get a hundred and sixty, yeah. it takes a while for it to move. Mm -hmm. You know, when I did Chris, I was shocked that I got that. But maybe because she's the mother and because of what's going on. Like I put out a, a video of Corey with a K. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's not true, but that's how we looking at it. I um, we're gonna see how that do. But I thought that was a powerful video because yes, nobody ever it. talk about Corey, but we did. So, uh, so, good. and we know that his name has been in a lot of things. Speaking about that, and speaking about the Corey, and speaking about all of the drama that comes with the Kardashians and the Jenner. I want to change the tide a little bit and I want to go about Taylor Swift, baby crone. Yes. Taylor Swift made a diss song to Kim. I don't know. I thought this was over. What? What? This is so petty and childish. Go it ahead, is. baby crone. It honestly is. And the only reason why we know that this is a diss song to Kim Kardashian is the fact that she used the code name Amy. Amy. Mm -hmm. Cute. Yeah, it is. It's cute. cute. It's cute. And you know what? Kim ain't going to say much of nothing. No. I don't want them Swifties coming over here. You mm -hmm. hear me? That's Swipping up, kicking up needs. dirt. Now, they've been done told us more mm -hmm. stuff. You, Kim is quiet. And you know what, Kim? That's right. You was quiet with Ray J. One thing about them Kardashians, you know when they hot and hot heat, they get quiet. Oh, so, yes. And this is a time to be quiet. Them girls know when to be quiet. Oh, yes. You know, I was thinking, I was thinking about all of this. Okay. And the wonderful thing I could say, I could say, Rob said, I got out of all of this. My name is Bennett and I ain't in it. And Rob left this because he saw the demise of this. Yeah, and Rob well, left. Well, he got a demise of his own self. Yes, that's true, too. Especially when he did that show with um, him and Black China. But nevertheless, so this yes. is what's going on. And the news, okay, it's nothing heavy. We get enough heavy news. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we want some light news. Yes. When I do heavy, heavy, heavy news, I probably do a reading with it. So who are we going to talk about next? Yes, next, um, speaking of a little bit of heavy news, J-Lo, she can't seem to catch her break. You know I'm what? for you, sis. Let me say this. There was someone that said that they worked at a casino. This is a story I heard on YouTube. And they were, and I believe it. I believe this story. And and her husband, Ben, gave the people $2,000. Okay. But J-Lo came and took the $2,000 behind Ben back, apparently. Mm. I could be twisting the story, but just bear with me. And gave them $200 and said, First of all, it wouldn't have been me. You didn't give it to me, so you can't take it from me. Mm -hmm. You know, and even if he did give it to me, I don't have to give it back to him. However, if he would have came, I yes. would have, but I would have never, I don't think I could have. And if she would have taken that money, I would have said, then you keep it then. Do you know what this money is? Could put food on my table. Mm -hmm. She treating $2,000 like it is the end all be all. Do you know how much groceries cost? Do you know what a gas bill or a phone bill? Do you know what it, you don't know what if they need to go to the dentist? Yes. What if they need some medicine? What you, that $2,000 ain't sugar, honey, iced tea. I was angry about that. And you're going to give me a, a $200 tip? That pissed me off. To her, you look at, to, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Nobody out there, don't, I'm not frowning on $2,000, but nobody out there is going to give up their life for $2,000. Not in this country. Not if you know the value of money. What is $2,000 going to do, babe, Crumb? Not much. 
I wish it would pay for my day going um what is it implant. implant. I done got hot and she came and took that. So now she's out there blackballing people that use anything with her name and because you're going down because you got a funky attitude. Mm -hmm. And you know what else? That woman died. Yes. Go ahead, baby. Come put that picture up. Yes. Her name. <clears throat> See, I'm hot now with J Lo for this. Yes, this is ridiculous. Not. Yeah, it's a pattern that we're starting Allegedly, to see. but I'm starting to see it. And not everybody gonna say the same thing. Go mm -hmm. ahead, baby crumb. Well, her name is Kyle Marissa, and she was a um a, famous, a blogger. Yes, famous TikToker. And the thing is, is that she was making she she was just making a commentary on how she did not like J Lo's movie This Is Me Now, which you've heard it from us crones. And I we, told you we weren't fans of it either. It wasn't it wasn't mm -mm. but no, here goes J Lo's team trying to do some damage control, like, oh my god, get rid of all the negative criticism. And here goes poor Kyle Marissa having cancer. Colon. Yes using this money from TikTok to pay for her cancer therapy. And now that it was taken away from her because it, because her account got struck for just having a simple commentary, just sharing her opinion. She had to die at the age of 36 because she had no way to fund her cancer treatment. That's all I got. I, I don't even have any words for JLo. Uh, I like these gingins <laughs> and what they are they're chewable what is it ginger yes I really enjoy them tell them about yours yes and I like ginger chews this is good for the stomach guys the stomach when I be getting health. hungry chew a ginger <laughs> yes <laughs> A ginger chew. <laughs> and it gets us through. This time, don't make me bought a bag of tape. You can show the bag, bag of it. We got that monkeys in here. We be in here for hours. Baby Cone said we don't be, but we really do. But go yes. ahead. Okay, what I think. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Talk while I'm chewing. Um, honestly, Thank you, babe. Okay, all I really have to say for this is that J Lo, if your movie was. Not so good. It's not so good. You can't fix that. So let the people speak. Especially stop lying about you, Jenny from the block. We didn't even sing Jenny from the block. Jenny not from the block. Jenny not from the block. Mm -mm. I'm done. And when she was doing the video, the one where she was fixing her hair, they said they had to do that so much time. You know, it's sad. That you know Beautiful. what that you fake and you lie, mm -hmm. and you know what your Puerto Rican people saying they don't even want to be associated with you. Now that's what I heard on TikTok. Now you know people ain't going to your show, Jennifer Lopez. Mm -hmm. You know what you are? You are rude, and you are nasty, and you was one of my favorite. And I even accepted what you did to Ashanti. And I'm real. Yeah. The way you move, the way you talk, the way you, you know. I'm I'm cool with it, but don't be fooled with what I got. I'm still I'm still Jenny from the block. I used to have a little, now I have a lot. I'm I'm done. I can't. Oh, yes, but I know where my place is. Something like that. I can't even believe it. Like you know. And then, what does it matter what people say about you? What does it matter? Yeah. Really, what does it matter? Why are you down here paying attention? You think that's going to make people like you? That just made it worse. Yeah. Because this woman died. And no, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm not saying that at all. But I am saying if you had a heart, and I'm sure you don't, I would feel bad about that. Mm -hmm. Not that you owe that woman anything. But sometimes we have to just be careful before we lash out. Yes. All she did was a little bit of clippings and apparently it was legal. Mm -hmm. It was legal what she did, right. but you didn't like it. So you heard her, but she's gone now. But you know what? If you found and you did that out of malice, you'll have that to pay. 
We don't get away with nothing. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure when you heard it, well, I'm hoping because I don't know you anymore. It's shown I never did. It seems like to me you got a horrible heart from what I hear about people. Yeah. And even people said when you take their pictures, you don't even like to talk to them. And they even, lady said, the way she hold me, see her hand? Your hand was cuffed around them like this. Mm. Like you didn't even want to cut. You know what? I feel bad for you. Yeah. Because you missed it. Isn't it something you can have the whole world and lose your soul? Yeah. You're looking right at it. Hollywood is filled with your type. That is and true. then when th- when the things go down, then you want the mercy of the people. Mm-hmm. And then you want to know why the people don't have nothing to deal with you. You're not a nice person, J-Lo. That's what is out on the streets about you. Yes. And you need to get some PR and you need to fix that. Because you're not a nice person. That is what's out on you. Mm -hmm. And I'm done with that. And I'm disappointed in you, J-Lo, to be honest with you. Because you know what? You had it kind of easy. And yet you did struggle. But you struggled off the back of other folks. And that make you no different than Kim Kardashian. So you slept your way to the top too. That's why you was in Diddy. Yeah. So we see you. Mm -hmm. We know you. Can I give her an eye roll? Yes, you can. <laughs> My God, she took a long one. There it is. <laughs> Who's next? Next. Oh, this one is a good one. DDG. Oh, <laughs> yes. Was... My favorite couple, as you know. I, I love them. I heard that they broke up, but I don't know. Because I think if they broke up, G- DDG would be on the website blasting they weren't at coachella together that's because she had to make a movie and wherever he lived he lived but she had to go to california so i guess she's there Mm -hmm. and that's why he wasn't there and she took the baby however the kicker is the baby said okay i call bs yes i don't believe it no yes Mm -mm. he was basically telling the baby no it has to be on good behavior and say okay Uh uh-uh Cause he tried to get that baby, said the baby didn't say it. Mm-mm. No, I don't believe that baby said, okay, I don't believe it. DDD, he always be playing jokes. He always be lying. <laughs> he always be doing it. If you fell for that, you fell for the okie doke. I don't believe it. If his baby could say, okay, his baby said, okay, okay, mommy. They were saying, okay, all the time. Yeah. That baby boy ain't six months. Is that baby boy six months? Well, let's see how old that baby Baby said, okay. Come on now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I know that baby boy ain't no year old. Mm-mm. She had that baby a few months back. Baby, because you be over there with that computer, don't you? Be looking up yes. everything. Okay. Um, January. Is, are they for real? Yeah, literally January 6th of this year. January the 6th. January, February, March, April, May. January, February, March, April. That baby four months. You better get up on out of here. (laughs) I gave the baby five to six months. No. Mm -mm. You believe that? You know what? That gets an eye roll. (laughs) Another one. (laughs) Yeah, for real. There it is. I'm doing it now. When I get up, first, I ain't got no walls to scratch. Yes, I like spirit thing. Remember, I used to scratch? Oh, but now these people got to get up. That is so phony. I thought it was cute, it but was if you cute. believe that, you got the okie doke. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But baby could say, okay, that clear. That baby need to be in. <laughs> That baby need to be examined. That baby, that baby is a special baby. Yes, I ain't falling for that. I like ain't a, falling for that. Months, you can comprehend and be like, okay. Okay. Believe it if you want to. You know, you just, you know, there are people out there, they just having baby fever. And they <laughs> want to believe everything. A genius baby. They ain't a genius baby. That's a creepy baby. Okay. <laughs> no, come on. That baby creepy. And you know it. Not the oh baby. But if that baby said, Okay. okay, you know he want to say, "Whoa, nobody." Let's get an eye roll. I'm telling you, go ahead, oh baby clown. It was funny though, but awesome. I don't buy the story. Do you, baby clown? No, I don't. Mm-mm. Especially now that I know that the baby's four months old. 
Anyway, that was a good laugh. Now. It was good. I don't buy. It. That's <laughs> corny. I don't believe it. Yes. But look at it. Um, find it. It's out there somewhere. You know, you could see it, but I ain't buying it. But go ahead. Now, on sad, on a sad note, I guess maybe you might not be sad about it. I'll tell you if I am or not. But Gary and Teresa from The Golden Bachelor. I, I'm not shocked, but go ahead. They're having a divorce. They were a they were such a good love story. Yeah. Such an inspiration. And just to hear after three months that they are getting a divorce solely on the fact. I mean, I, I'm glad you both love your family that much, but they're having such a hard problem on trying to figure out where to live and I guess not be too far away from their family. So they can't find that middle ground. So they're just like, you know what? We're just be we'll just be happier not together. How can that be? You mean to tell me yo, you all didn't talk about that? Knowing that. But I didn't think it was gonna last anyway. Okay. I really didn't. And I'm gonna tell you, and I've said this, I felt like he was really for the woman with the hearing aid. Oh, I did blessing. say that. I really felt that. But what happened? She said something and his family didn't like what she said. Yeah. And I think when he heard that, it turned to, well, I said this though. And I think that's what happened. However, he just seemed too much like a playboy to me. He just seemed like a player. I mean, he's, he's like one of them him. guys that's just too good to be true. Let me just put it out there. I truly that believe she that she loved him. I truly believe that. However, they couldn't wait. They, I mean, they only, they, what, they 70? Good God. They, in a couple of years, what are you got to get a divorce? What are y'all going to be doing? Y'all can't see each other, drive and see each other once a month. You got to get a divorce. Y'all can't go and get a retirement home. What is going on? That's just a holy story. It's got holes in it. I don't like it. It don't sound yeah, right. Because you sound, all can't, cover. you, I can't need my home. No, why don't you find a place neutral? I can't see your marriage breaking up over there. No, that is petty. Yeah. We go. So as I was saying, so what were we saying now? I forgot. I had you to take a minute. You talking about how um, it just seems like it's suspicious that they had had a divorce. Actually, yeah. the, the whole story just It was sounds... good on TV, but I didn't think it would last. I mm -mm. Not that it couldn't. I thought they had what it took to make it, but coming up with the fact that we can't figure out where to live yeah. that how far apart do your families live like is it like different coast to coast and probably but even if it's so you're in the united states I, it just don't sound right to me and you all you know they were trying to make it as sweet no i'm, I'm disappointed jesus oh, yeah. actually i thought they would last a little longer than this Jesus, hey, hey, Jesus, this seems like this is what made The Bachelor corny. This, this is what makes this corny. Yes, it didn't even work for the older couple. Right. It, it, it's corny. Yeah, do better. Do better. I thought he was good. It was very good TV. And you know it what? Was. I will watch it when it come on again. Yes, please, I please, enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. However, I pity the fool who gets up there and want to marry somebody after knowing them for what? A couple of months. Well, I did it, so well, it um, didn't last. The only thing that I would like to say is that I do find this very interesting because I have seen Leslie in the news. Oh. Um, I think it was talking about how she still feels hopeful for looking for love. So I don't know, Gary. She still might be open. Who knows? You think so? So what this new talk like this for? <laughs> what? Where did it come from, girl? <laughs> Wait, what, what's your new song for? Listen, God? I want to set them up. I got my tongue. Oh, what's that new talk? I'm going to that new dialect. What is that? Hey, girl, girl. You sound like one of them Puerto Ricans in New York, in, these, in my uh, opinion. You know, is that a girl? Mm. Is that it? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your, that's your, that's your... What kind of accent is that? Go ahead, let me hear. That's my urban accent. Oh, that's your uh, see, <laughs> urban. Okay, urban. Urban. That lets you know how far she is from urban. Oh, girl. 
<laughs> Let me tell you a thing or two about a thing or two, girl. You know who you sound like? You sound like Rosie. She is it's not Rosie Perez. I don't know. It could be Rosie Perez. That's the, the Puerto Rican girl. She wants to say she's talking to her teeth like this girl. No. Let me tell you some little girl. That's how she talks like this to her teeth. You know, she's one of my favorite actors, though. Mm -hmm. Really. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, if they do make a season two, I like hope that it's centered around Leslie finding. Oh, do you think that they might bring Leslie and do it? I hope so. I mean, we said that back then. I, I would hope so. I would. I would. Finding. I would let her pick. And 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 so how would it go if a woman pick a man? I don't know. I don't know because a lot of these people are not sincere. Speaking of shows like this, what about Tamar and Jr. Yeah, that's another one that come from a show like mm -hmm. this, Queen's Court. Queen's Court, I loved it, and they can yeah, bring it good. back. But Tamar and Jr. They were together for a good while. What has it been a year or so? I don't know, but I like them, and I'm sorry if they don't match. You know, they match. I guess sometimes you can match on, you can match on paper, and you can have the appearances of a matching in real life. Because to me, they are a beautiful couple. That's what I like to see. I thought they were beautiful. I thought they were nice. They look good together. I like that. I'm sorry to see they couldn't make it. Yeah. But they are two alphas. So she's an alpha female. He an alpha male. And that lion. And what is she? He's a Leo. And she's a something. Um, I, I want to say she's a... A water sign. I have to, I have to look into that though. She probably, she, I think she's a cancer. Okay. I think she's a cancer. I'm not sure. But what you looking up over there, baby girl? I was baby trying girl? to figure out. I typed in when did JR and Tamar start dating? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. not give me a clear answer. Yeah, from the show. Just look so at from the show. Look up when did the show air? Yeah, when did the show air? That That's when we could look at. I'm just more looking at a year. 2023. So they've been at. So March they've been. 2020. So March. From March that, that 23 to March 24. So they weren't even a couple for a good year. Mm -hmm. Jeez. But at least they were, they've were they been trying. Yes, they're trying at least. I'll give them that. You know what I don't like about these shows? And can I speak on it? Okay. I don't like the fact that they get involved with these men and these men get involved with these women and they never, ever educate you on STDs. Just true. like right now, Tamar haven't been with him a good year and now they broke up. This couple haven't even been together three months and you know they were intimate. Ew, that that's something about that. That's true. There's something about that that that's bothersome. Is it me? Mm -mm. I'm not. I'm. I'm. It just seemed like it should be a trial. Like we gotta go six months and we don't have sex and we get married and it, it gotta be a trial date. I get it. Do you understand? What I'm saying like, okay, I can get an annulment. We could we're not gonna have sex for eight months. Eight months. If I have sex before that time, I broke covenant. No kind of sex. If I want to kiss, yes, you right. know, kissing and feeling, but nothing where, you know, you're going <laughs> below the belt. Penetrate. Nothing where is then they could do the, the mouth stuff. Oh okay. no, no, nothing below the waist. No fingers, no tongues, no lips, no rods or poles, no dills, no ooze, no chills, no lights, no nothing. <laughs> no lights. <laughs> no lights, no chills, no thrills, no nothing, no wires, no fingers, no tips, nothing. Gotcha. Below the belt for eight months. You mar you can even get married, but that will not be your constant. And it's like a mock marriage. Sure. It's a, it's real because it's a contract for this amount of time. Okay. Like it, it's a contract mm -hmm. saying if we can get through here to here, then we'll get married. But other than that, you need six months and then watch them for eight months. Okay. They live together. Yes. You That's have important. the show that you live together. You understand? The cameras are going to follow you. You're going to live together and we're going to be having counselors come in, okay. but you can't, you sleep together, you know? And if you feel like you can't withhold yourself, you need to make that be known. Mm -hmm. And the person has to sleep in the room. Does that mean that person can cheat? That person can still cheat. That's true. 
That person no, is respectful because you're not giving that person. I just think they need to make this stuff more real. That's true. Because I, I feel as though the one that I feel is a little bit more real to me, and that is um the one where they go and marry these foreign people. Oh, yes. Um, 90 Day Fiance. I think I'm going to start talking about them because they get me up in a hop. But nevertheless, they I'm, really do. I'm way, 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 I'm way in the water now. I'm heavy. Who were we talking about that talking took me over about there? Gary and Teresa having They divorced. took me all the way over there to Never Never. Then I felt like I was in Kansas. Come back. Come back. Mm -hmm. I'm back. This is the topic. Yes. What do you think about Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber and what's his name? Jaden Smith. I'm going to run to a couple. I, got, I want to. I know they are friends because they belong to the good old boy club. Mm -hmm, yes, that's that. Do. That's that uh, club. I feel. Let me, let me say. Hold up. Okay. That is that club where where sexual fluid people belong. Okay. I'm sure there's a part of Hollywood that is gay driven. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jay Diddy showed probably, us that. Yes, exactly. We were thinking on the same place. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, baby. Come. Yes, that's all I was gonna say because it is no way. And then we there's no way Jaden is going to walk up to Justin from behind. Grind like a sneak him. attack, like a sneak attack, like this cool, like it's. I know it's cool. Just mm -hmm. go ahead, baby. Yeah, come. this is now. Um, it's like it was normal for him to just casually walk up and do this, like they do this, in, in, like any other day. Probably so. Yes, and Justin didn't seem caught off guard by it. Actually, when he saw it was Jaden, he was like, "Oh." And then once Jaden was finished, like that was their way of saying, "Hey, buddy." Jaden goes and goes. To his little necky neck right here. No, it was like his lips were sucking a little bit. I may be exaggerating, <laughs> but remember these are looks. So for me, this is what I saw. Mm -hmm. From my vantage point, it's like if my girlfriend came up behind me and wiggled on the back, I was like, girl, don't do that. I will automatically would first of all, I would have joked around to wonder who's doing that. Yes. Second of all, he was comfortable because he knew that nobody could get close to him because his bodyguards all over. So he don't have to leap and jump. Okay. So when somebody come and wiggle, he knew it was somebody he know. My thing was the way that they did it, it was like they had seen each other earlier. It it came up, my intuition smelled like um, it was a smelling ball. Cause I kept on saying, did he know his cologne? Mm. Because my senses kept smelling cologne. Yeah, and right. when I and, and I wondered, were they together earlier? And he recognized him. Through the cologne. Everything I say is allegedly, but I just got to trust on my intuition. Okay. So when he wiggled him from behind, yes, it was a term of endearment, but it was a cold. It was a cold. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? Because there was a man over there in a pink shirt, and there was another man with no with a shirt on, but I think it was I don't even know. But the man that. with the pink shirt had on a hat. That said 818. So there was the Kardashians right in the yes. middle of it again. And guess what? I knew it was a cold because they didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. But the guy that had the 818 chuckled at it. Yeah, he was. And he found it like, wow. He had his sunglasses, but you could see by his mm -hmm. mouth expression. Go back and look mm -hmm. at it again. And not that I really care one way or the other. It's not my son. So I'm not worried about that. Long as he's happy, I'm happy. And he don't have no bridges in his mind. So I'm happy that he's happy because he's about him and his sister is about the most depressing people that you ever want to meet across screen. However, I do him. That is true. I do. They have an adoring factor to them. But they are the most repressed people. It's no wonder that J her song is about that. They stay depressed. They got deep stuff about them. They've been exposed to some things. It, and at this point, it makes me wonder about Will, allegedly. The way he used to capture his son and kiss him. and all. Hey, nobody can make fun about a man wanting to kiss his son. Right. I can't mad, be mad at that. But I'm saying, 
Now, when you hear, this is when we thought that we we heard little rumors about it, but nothing serious. But now, with all the rumors, you got to say, did you force him to do this at home? These questions now, right. allegedly, I, I'm not trying to put no damage in your head or nothing. I'm just saying this is how my mind works, okay? Mm -hmm. So when I see this of Justin Bieber, it's like he knew. And when he turned around, he didn't even give him a full head. He, no. he turned around like, I know your way. I know your body. Mm -hmm. I smell you. I know you because I can know a man by a smell, especially if I just saw you. Mm -hmm. I could come up behind you because you know what I'm wearing. I'm wearing, what am I wearing? Coco Chanel. So I know because I'm reeking now because I spray too much as I always do. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but it's nothing I could do. That if I walked good. up about you, you would say, mm -hmm. that's me. Yes, I That's do. how my mind works. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean I'm right. It's just another way to look at it. You know what I say? So thinking of that and the way they grind, they're just a part of the good old boy. Yes. The good, they done did things together. Mm -hmm. They done shared some things. They, yes, they, they, done, they done did some things. That, that's okay. They done, they done shared some moments. We'll take it where it resonates. Take mm -hmm. it where it fits. My mind ain't nowhere dirty. I'm just saying they done did some things. Because that's a comfortable thing. Because not even my, unless you are my man, you're not going to come up on me like that, exactly. male nor female, because mm -hmm. I wouldn't like that. Exactly. I don't care if I was famous. I don't care if I was rich. I wouldn't want nobody to capture me in a moment vulnerable with somebody riding my ass. Mm -hmm. No. So what, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to let society make me look at stuff and tell me, uh, you got dust in your eye. That's just a friendly way, the way men do. I ain't never see men do stuff like I see today. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to fall for the okie doke. Do you, boo? Don't try to play with this. Don't try to make what I saw a grind and a passionate kiss yes. that I saying, hey, they ain't got to be lovers. I don't give a John. Mm -hmm. All I am saying it was it was very much sexual. Yes. In nature. If somebody did that to your little boy, you have an issue. So this is the, the, the double standards. Yeah. And this is what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to let society, and it's going to be hard because these are the days that we're living in. They're trying to keep us covered. They're trying to keep secrets. And so they're going to try to tell you, this is why people hurt themselves, because they are telling you that ain't real. Just like they did about the moon. Yes, they did. That, that's real. You they making it where you don't know real. You got to hold on to your morals. You ain't got to be rude. You ain't got to hate them, hate them for what they ain't got thing in your circle. Mm -hmm. Hate them, hate them for what? That's stupid. Yeah. You know, let them be them. Give them their space. And then return, give me mine. Yeah. Now, I chose to look at it. So since I chose to look at it, I can't be mad that they doing that. But what you're not going to do is say, they were just, just two friends and... I ain't never, because I'm a female, and never mm -hmm. one of my friends crept up on me and grind me from the back, mm -hmm. and I turned around and kissed them on the neck. That's a lie. Yes. Never. And for you to tell me that that's normal, that's highly weird. Yes. I don't know. I've been looking at Atlanta, and I've been looking at them, and I ain't never see those men do that. I've been looking at the women of housewives. I ain't never see. I've been looking at men or um house. I mean, the show, the raunchy show that come on with Stevie J. Stevie J. Oh, um, Love and Hip Hop. I've seen all the shows, black and white. I've never seen. I've never seen it in my family. And I'm not saying it's wrong, and I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying that's some new stuff. That's some stuff I don't know. I'm willing to accept it, but what? Don't tell me that's that's not freaky stuff. Yeah, for real. Just don't say it. Just just act like I don't know. Don't tell me. Oh, that's the way they meet each other. Just don't. Mm -hmm. Just leave it. Yeah. Just say I don't know what it is, but you know they friends. I could take that, but don't come trying to analyze and say, mm -hmm. that's just their way. That's bull. Yeah. I ain't buying it because nobody better not come up on me and sneak up behind me. Mm -hmm. Whether I got people or not and grind up on me and cameras all over the place. I don't know you. So it let me know they knew each other. 
He didn't jump. He didn't flinch. He didn't do anything. No. He was very much comfortable. And the way he kissed him, I, I'm not mad. Yeah, it was almost a kiss in return, like, thanks, All buddy. this did for me is made me more upset that that little boy, because that's what I see with both of them, those little boys has yes. been tampered with. They definitely that's have. all that showed me. Mm -hmm. They just two little lost boys. And when I think about Will Smith, and I don't care how many movies he made, this is my opinion, I'll never see him the same. Yeah, because he's allegedly making Never. I am legend. You can too. make all the movies you want. I will never. And you know the thing that makes it worse? Not only are you this life, you lie. Yeah, This is true. the thing. You lie. What I can say about Jaden, he don't lie. What I can say about his daughter, they don't lie. I can respect them because they don't lie. Yes, they are. Okay. They put themselves out there and they take the heat for it mm -hmm. and they make their moon and they be themselves. And this is the world. If I'm going to live in with gays and I shouldn't have to question your integrity, yeah. be real with it. So no, whether it is all it did for me, especially with, because, because he's married and no man is going to come up behind my husband and grind. And my, I would mm -hmm. have an issue with it, especially yes. if my family is religious. Mm -hmm. And knowing how Christian them is, I be damn. Mm -hmm. You done, you done, you done let out the cat out the bag for me. Yes. Now you know I'm not supposed to lose it. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I got to come back down. Let me get dignified again. I'm sorry, baby. Could you step in while I yes. go and calm down? Because I know you over there wanting to say something. So keep yes, it going. Yes, I do. I mean, you touched on the very fact of the thing I want to touch on is. How does Haley Beaver feel seeing mm. this? Because we did hear just recently that their marriage and they trying to get another divorce mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, I see why. I would have to question about whether you doing that, whether you bringing me home. Something. It ain't the fact that he may be dirty. It's the person. It's the person. It's the person that they doing it with that might be. Yeah. So this is the thing. I have an issue with these kind of things when they talk about orgies and they talk about yes. this stuff. Okay, everybody in there could be saying clean. How do I know? Because this person is sleeping with somebody and that person, who I know. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. I Not can't. Like they all come together with papers of I've gotten tested in here. Yeah, I got tested. By the time I got those papers, I could have slept with somebody again and got something else. Or unless I could get tested on the spot. Okay. I'm Fair just enough. saying, come on, y'all. Okay, unless you can test me on the spot. If it can do with COVID. This is what absolutely they will test you with COVID on the spot. Take, I'm sorry, you can't come in. You got fever, right? Uh -huh. Go ahead, baby. Time. Yes. Um, so that's really what I'm most curious about is I'm not sure if you're gonna pull some cards to see how Haley Beaver feels about this. Okay, I will. I will pull. I wanna know. Okay. I wanna know how Haley Beaver. I mean, she's a freak too. Yeah, she is too, but she still hangs around the Kardashians. So. She's still around the Kardashians, so that lets you see her loyalty. My husband up there talking about, and she's up there against them. She heard that she may be saying, well, I don't hang around with Courtney and now. I'm friends with Kylie. You can't be friends with my nemesis, bro. Under this circumstances, yeah. wait till it all blow over. No, you yeah. are hindrance at this time. Mm -hmm. So how has this affected this this kiss yes this wiggle moment. no this wiggle moment yes wiggle the wiggle moment the kiss that's been around the world because he curled around and kissed him on his neck like a man kiss a woman okay like a lover kiss another lover okay okay let me bring it home because don't come with me talking about uh oh, you you know how can i be if i'm going to be open-minded then i got to be open-minded to everything i can't be narrow-minded or worry about who's gay who's straight who who am amorexits what is the word amodexerous what is the word oh you just you know what uh, polyamorous polyamorous and yes. gay and who like mm -hmm. sodomy? Who like the suck? Who I can't be in that. Yeah, can we please stop being open about our sex lives? Please. I mean, you. I mean, I don't care about that. All I care about is just I won't, I won't if you won't. 
Let's just have some respect for boundaries. Okay. But don't come telling me that I see a married man. He is a married man. Yes. And I see another man that felt as though it was okay to come up and mm -hmm. grind on me, knowing that there were cameras. And not only that, you didn't stop him. You turned you a married man. Yes. You turned around and you kissed him on the neck like you would me. I have an issue with that. And even if, if they were single, I would still have an issue with it. Why? Because Beavers is married. Yes. If he wasn't married, I wouldn't care about it like that. I think we're about to say, oh, they, they play around. Like it mm -hmm. wouldn't be a thing. But this is a married man. Mm -hmm. And see, this is what I'm saying. Don't look at me and tell me, no, you're reading something. I ain't reading nothing in it because you know what? I don't care. I really don't care. But what I do care about is that fine line. Mm -hmm. You're going to justify it. Yeah. That's what I don't like. He is a married man. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Yeah, we see and for what it is. That's for what it is. And that let me know he's a cheater. That let me know he play around on his wife. Okay. That let me know, ooh, is she divorced because she's sick of his ass. That's why. If you could do that, you could say whatever you want to say about her. I ain't never see her behave like that on camera. Her sister, but not her. I oh, see lovers. lovers. First card. What's your question? Uh, well, that's a very fitting card. Mm -hmm. my, that's why I said lovers. My question was, how does Haley feel about Justin and Jaden Smith? I got three cards. Mm. Now, <clears throat> I see lovers because this was the first card to come out. What was your question? I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you all answer it. Oh, okay. What was your question? My question. <clears throat> Take Sorry. your time. Yes. My question was, how does Haley Beaver feel about Justin and Jaden? Were they lovers? Did you ask that question? No, how does she feel about them? so the card lovers show up mm, and she feels that they are could be she feels they like intimate. they could be what lovers mm -hmm. they have been intimate. What is this card? The cups, and of course, that's very emotional. Lovers, mm -hmm. love affair. It's among other things, but we're talking, she and we reading the cards in the context of our question. We're not this is it. I'm really showing you that I'm reading this. Mm -hmm. And because of this behavior. Just like you said, she might just leave him. She might leave. She's sick of it. This is blatant. It is. This is and then she was there. Yeah, she was at Coochie. She was there. She actually. wasn't there when that happened. No. Because I said, where's Haley? Yes. I said, what's her name, Haley? Mm -hmm. I said, where's Haley? I said, she must have not been around when yes, this happened. Yes, did say that. Just to find out she was. And to just think that Jaden felt like it was okay. Mm -hmm. And it could have been. This is all that I'm saying. But he's a married man. And to me, he should have responded in a way, oh, this man, no, man. Or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he didn't. And Jaden felt as though it was okay. And that's why I said they probably had seen each other earlier because it didn't seem like it was a coincidence. And when it goes off, it seemed that they were going to go off together. Yes. It seemed that because mm -hmm. if you see he, you see him, he walks, he's here, he's here. Well, I be studying mm -hmm. stuff when I'm pulled in. It seemed that he was getting ready to walk off and leave those other two guys to their own and he was getting ready to go with him. So it was like they had seen each other earlier. This is what I say. You can't prove it otherwise. Mm -hmm. And I'm sticking, that's my story. Yes. I'm sticking to it. I think saw. that this behavior, among other things, is ruining her marriage. I think that he has been promiscuous. I think he goes both ways. I think he's been leaving his marriage to have sex. I seen a videotape. Everything I say is allegedly. I saw a videotape where it was, I don't know where, where they was at a table and here again, they that he was doing something, he was drinking or whatever. I could have sworn behind him, somebody was pulling them pants down. Yes. Um, and you got to understand, if this little boy has been touched, he's a grown man now. Mm -hmm. If this little boy, had, when he was young and he was tampered with and he had yes. some kind of sensation, then that's something that will haunt him for the rest of his life. 
I would imagine. I don't know. I'm glad that's not my story. I'm glad that I didn't have that story to tell, that I don't have to write that on my tombstone. I don't have to live with that because mm -hmm. I don't know what it's like to be penetrated as a young child. I am grateful that that didn't happen to me. Mm -hmm. So for me to say, I understand it. The thing is to, to have it happen. I know what it's like to be kissed at, at uh, 13 years old and feeling really, really goosey, goosey all over. So that was a feeling for me, which made me want to kiss all the time. So my thing is, if something happened like that to a little boy and it was done right and it yeah, was right. done gentle, I'm just thinking in my mind and it was done. That's something happening to them that they don't understand. And that could have a psychological effect. Yeah, I'm just saying Especially I'm just saying age differences as well. But the question was, what do I think? I think that this man has been a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I think so. And I think that she's sick of it. Mm -hmm. I think that she's sick of it. She's sick of it. And I think that she's saying to him, I don't give a damn about your money because it, here's the money thing shows up again yeah. because I bid on him again in money. So it seems like I don't need your money. It's something about money with them. Okay. I've said that before. Is this about money? And if so, what is it? <laughs> It's he thinks money. she's frivolous with money. Spin up your own money. Like buying cold shoes and all that. You know, he ain't the best dresser in the world. <laughs> right? So you could tell he ain't spending a whole lot of money. I'm not saying he don't have clothes or anything like right. that. But just the way he dressed, he, he can grunge it out. And yes. you could see that she's into fashion, into high fashion. I'm not saying that, but I am just saying it seems like it's a money problem between them two. And every time I go a reading, here it is, financial, the way you look. That's that material realm again. The way you look, the way you're presenting it out in the world. And I think she doesn't like it at all. I think that this is going to present a problem because if I come from if I come from a religious family and I know my mother would have an issue with that. And I'm a grown woman. She would say to me, do you have to put that on TV? Do the world have to know what you're doing in the light? Mm -hmm. My mother would feel very uncomfortable with that. What do you think? Yeah. No. So say something. Are we good? Um. Yeah. Is there any more reading. question? Nope. That answers the question pretty much. Haley. She knows. knows. She's tired of it. This is a five. Mm -hmm. This is a five. And when you see the lovers, it's a six. And again, the lovers have to deal with what? The devil. So there's deception. He's not honest. He cheats. And right there lets you know he's probably bisexual. This is my read. Everything I say is a legend. Yes. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed our whole commentary. Yes. I feel like we've been talking forever, but it's a little longer because because YouTube like that, right? Yeah. They like that when you give them some long stuff. So every now and then we throw in some long stuff for you. We hope you enjoyed it. We know we did. Hey, have a heart with Justin. <laughs> unless something else go on that we don't know about, right? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, and with Jaden, right then we'll just chalk it off as that they just a part of the good old boy club, that club in Hollywood, yes. right? Mm -hmm. That's for the creepy and the weird. They yes. are part of that. Is that all right? Yes, that's all right. The creepy and the weird. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with that being said, are you hungry? Yes, I am. I don't believe it. You ready? Yes. Sunflowers.